Hello guys, this is Santosh and welcome to Tech Design. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a revolve command in NX23. I have already uploaded many videos on NX23 version. So I'll give the link in the description or in the comment section. So you can just go to that playlist and watch all the videos. So in this video, as you can see here, uh, we have a revolve command over here. And once you go to revolve command, you can see many number of options are available here. I'm not going to discuss on Boolean operation and offset and settings. So these things will remain same for extrude and revolve. So these things are remain same. So I'm not going to explain that. So if you need to have an information on these settings just go to my extrude command video on nx23 version so you are going to get all the information so we are going to discuss on only these things now so what i'm going to do is as you can see here there is a section which we need to select so if you already have a section you can see here there is a sketch which is already created and if this sketch is already available you can able to directly select the sketch or if you want to create a new sketch you can just go to create sketch here so once you click here you need to select a plane and then uh, go to create a sketch since i have already have an already existing sketch so i don't want to go there i'm going to select this sketch so i can just go to here and select the sketch and now we can see here there are two options here so one is specify the vector and specify the point so you may get confused with these two options why there will be a vector and point so i'm going to give you two examples and i'm going to show you what is the difference between these two say for example now instead of selecting a point suppose if i go to vector and select this vector okay so as soon as this vector is selected and the point will be taken as somewhere the point on this particular curve which we are selected so the point will be taken as this point and our vector is going to be this vector so that is how you know your revolve has been generated say for example now i'll just click okay apply okay so now i'm going to create a same revolve with different vector so now what i'm going to do is i will just go to um, section and i'm going to select the same particular sketch and instead of selecting this what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this as my particular revolve vector. So you can see here, now you can see uh, the revolve is generated from this point. So from this point, it has been generated. So let me go to, okay. So now I can just click, okay. So you can see the difference. So when you give a line which is existing inside the sketch, so it is going to create a revolve from that particular line. But when you give in this revolve, if you select this Z axis as a revolving vector, so it is going to create this particular revolve. So this is how the difference between these two option size. So depending on your requirement, you can just select the vector and specify the point. So in some cases, when you select a vector uh, specify, you need to specify the point. So you can just go to end point or whatever. Uh, there are many options here. So depending on your requirement, you can just select the point. So in some cases, when you select a vector, obviously automatically uh, end point of this particular line or vector, it will be taken it as a point okay so when it comes to start limit and end limit so we have multiple options here so symmetric value say for example if you give 60 so it will be there 60 degree from here and 30 degree on this side 30 degree on this side okay and then there will be until selected suppose if any object is coming in the middle so if any object is coming say for example this plane so i'm going to revolve this until this plane okay so in that case you can just give this until selected okay so only these two are options available here uh, instead if we have multiple options in extrude command but here only these are the commands so as you already told you so suppose if you need any boolean operation offset and these things so you can just go to extrude command and you can learn these features hope you enjoyed this tutorial guys so suppose if you have any doubts please comment in the section below i will try to answer thank you guys